Hello, it's me again. I have another camera to show to you. And this time it's a Polaroid 900 electric eye, which I converted for um, pack film, for example, Fuji FP100 or FP3000. Yeah. Since I decided to sell this camera on eBay, I thought, yeah, I should make a video about it. So when it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> and I still have a video um, about what what I made here. Um, it's actually a pretty cool camera. I have never converted a, a Polaroid 900 before and it turned out pretty good. My other cameras are um, Polaroid 110s and Polaroid uh, 100, 50, 60, 800 and stuff like that. And this one is different because um, the opening mechanism is, is very, very different from the others. You can open it here and the inside is also very different. The sliding mechanism for the electric eye. Yeah, but I think it's a pretty cool camera. This is an electric eye shutter. You can either use the electric eye or switch it to manual down here. Right now it's on electric eye mode um, for 3000 speed film. And when you switch it here, you can um, switch it to manual, the EV mode which you can slide up and down here manually. Yeah. But I used it only on electric eye automatic mode. It goes down to, yeah, even to 50, 50, 100, 200, 400, 800, 3000, 6000. Yeah. When I got this camera, the, the battery for the electric eye was leaking. It was an old mercury battery, which is located back here, but I switched it out for a modern battery. And this little latch here is a bit loose, so I just <laughs> um, put a piece of clear tape on it. Yeah, it holds, but it can be replaced with any kind of tape. Um, I took apart the whole rangefinder and viewfinder and cleaned it and painted it black and it looks, looks really nice. Let's close it up. It's a standard pack film bag. Um, which fits plain on the body. And the good thing about it is you don't have to adjust infinity at, for this camera, which you had to do if you pull it, if you have a spacer down here, you have to adjust infinity. Yeah. It, it wouldn't work <laughs> if you try to shoot photos. So in this case, it fitted pl uh, plain on the back. So I had not to adjust infinity, luckily. <laughs> To open the bag up, you have to open this little door and then you can open the bag up. And the bag is held by eight screws M3, which are screwed directly on the, on the body of the camera, which is also pretty solid. You notice all the black foam material here to prevent leaks. Yeah, works pretty good. This little thing here, I'm pretty proud of it. This closes by a magnet and it holds. It's pretty cool. With my other cameras, I, I had a little latch here and it works as well, but this time 
I glued a small magnet in here and the flat screw head on the on the aluminium or aluminum plate and it holds really nice pretty cool yeah yeah I took a few test shots like like this about a year ago yeah that's my ugly face <laughs> I took a selfie and the rangefinder works and also this a mirror shot like 10 minutes ago yeah to check if the rangefinder is calibrated exactly and yeah there was a circus in town and I tried to make a photo to shoot a photo but somehow <laughs> I aim too high I don't know why <laughs> but the range is working yeah since I don't need this camera I decided to put it on eBay and see if anyone wants it it's a pretty cool piece I covered this with this red leather smells nice looks nice yeah <laughs> yeah that's about it thanks for watching and i see you next time bye